on my my neighbor's Sean's boat with Chris. We are we are fishing for tall tog. Just using a little two hook rig. This kind of fishing is really simple. There isn't really much that we can do in Virginia in the colder months, but we do have Tautog here. Tautog likes to eat little crabs and crustaceans and stuff like that. And they live right inside of these wrecks. So what we're going to do, Sean's going to drive the boat until we're over top of the wreck. Then we're going to use the trolling motor to put a spot lock over where we're at. And we're going to drop down there and see if any Tautog will eat our little crab baits there. We're out here at the, the Tower Reef out here at Chesapeake Light right now. And uh, let's see what we can do. That's a nice fish, I think, guys. Yeah, big tall. Nice tall. Look at that. Oh, shit. Got him. Nice tall. Bad. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Four or five pounds. Pretty fish. First one. Cool. First one of the morning. As a sea bass. Almost keeper size, but it's not in season either way. The boom. Hang on. Ah, big sea bass. For here, it's a big bass. Ah. Well, that would be a keeper bass if it was in season, but they are not in season right now. Still, pretty fish. Going back. Sean is on another one. It's a little tough. He's a tough one. Close to a keeper? Yeah, he might be a keeper. I think he is. Close. Let's see. Oh, Chris has got him. Chris has bowed up. Definitely bit like a dog. Can you shake him like a dog? Yeah. Got it? I'm not feeling the shaky. That's a dog, I think. Yeah, that's a keeper, too. Oh, shit, nice one, nice. Yeah, you didn't feel like a seat back. That's pretty. That's definitely a That's got a tag in it, too. Chris is bowed up again. A lot of head shake. And it is a bass. Okay. Hey, he's close. close. Another little guy. And a half inch. Damn it. Yep, he's just barely gonna be undersized, I think. Definitely tall, I don't know how big he is. I don't think he's super big. Maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think he's about the same size as yeah. the ones I've been catching. That's a keeper, I think. Yeah, big different color keeper. Nice job. That is a, a, a 17, 18 inch tall tog. Female. That trolling motor with the spot lock on it, that thing is the bomb for doing this. There's no dropping a wreck anchor or anything. You just push a button and the boat sits right where you want it to sit. It's nice. Chris is on again. Yeah, it's a sea bass. 
Little sea bass. Actually. Sea bass. Sea bass. Sea bass here in yeah. That's a, oh, it's a little guy. I might be able to measure him. Chris has the hot hand on the tower reef. <laughs> <laughs> This kind of this this kind of fishing is it's not it, it's something where you have to have a skill in order to do it or else they'll steal your bait these things when you drop down there you wait very patiently for a bite and then you'll get like one or two little pecks and if you don't set the hook at the exact right time they'll steal your bait and be gone This is this is what it looks like when Chris is skillfully trying to attempt to capture a tautog, also known as blackfish up north in the land of the Yankees. Long and skinny. Fifteen feet. See. Anyways, catching some fish. It's a beautiful day out here. I don't know, I think we caught maybe 15 or so tall tog. Oh, look at that. Cute little guy. I was cameraing and missed one. He gonna, yeah. he gonna be a big enough one. Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish, cool. Good job. Look at them teeth on that thing. Hey girl, what's up? <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> Pretty fish. Sweet. She might be a keeper. Just a little, come here over 15. See ya. Adios. Yeah. Hey. Might be a little small. Okay. Tall there. Cool. Yeah, Man, look at that. Back. He's got like a <laughs> broken back. That <laughs> <laughs> damn dolphin tried to get him. Look, 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 look. He has a hook hanging out of his mouth oh, where he's gotten somebody before. Yeah. yeah. I don't need that. Oh, no, he's going to be a Is he? Maybe. I don't think so. A wrap. We are wrapping it up for this one. Chris with the hot hand. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> I love that. It, is, it was a beautiful day today. Had really, really nice weather. Caught some, caught some fish. We have I don't know, six, six in the box. Ones like that. And now we are going to take them home and make food with them. Anchor's easy to pull on this rig. Yesterday, I went fishing with my neighbor Sean. And we went fishing for Tautog. This little guy right here is a Tautog. And these are very good to eat. And what I've done with this fish is last night, oh, we caught these fish yesterday, but I left them in an ice brine overnight. And what that does is it makes it firms the fish up a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier to clean. We're gonna, these are very simple to clean. I'm just going to
fillet this with the skin on and then we're going to take the skin off after we get the meat off of the fish. And off, we're going to hold the tail, we'll put our knife in there, and we're not really going to move the blade of the knife a whole lot. But we're going to grab the skin and kind of just pull it. Is our boneless, skinless tall tog filet. Do that on the other side, and okay, that's so all it is to clean it. We have this beautiful tall tog here, filleted and cleaned up. And now we are going to make dinner for tonight. I'm going to prepare, I'm gonna pan fry this tall tog, very simple. I'm gonna pan fry it, butter, Old Bay. Maybe a little bit of lemon juice, that's about it. And then we're gonna serve that over dirty rice. I have the dirty rice started, the water going for that now. Go ahead and get this going. Today we're gonna be pan frying in good old butter. One white onion chopped one bell pepper chopped one zucchini squash chopped We had two tall togs, so we have four fillets. That right there, that is a pan fried tautog over dirty rice with onions, bell peppers, and zucchini. Have a little baguette here, some cheese on top, chives, sriracha, some lemon. This, this right here is what's up. It is the moment of truth. That is, oh my God, good. Tall Tog just has such a, so white and 
flaky. It almost has a sweet tasting meat. It's just delicious. Mm. That is exceptional. It's really good, really easy to make. I'm gonna enjoy a nice glass of white wine with it. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you again soon.